Yeah, Mike, so Sheriff Youngblood says that the pandemic has not been preventing his deputies from doing their job in any way, but still, it is posing a bit of a challenge. Take a listen. Social distancing and masks are not always going to work for us, uh, providing public safety, and it's, it's one of the hazards that we face. Sheriff Donnie Youngblood says amid the pandemic, Kern County Sheriff's deputies are remaining vigilant, and that means taking precautions while interacting with members of the public and with inmates at correctional facilities. Youngblood says about two dozen KCSO employees have tested positive for the virus so far, most being detention deputies at correctional facilities, and there have also been a few patrolling deputies. We're up close and personal with a lot of people and we haven't had a lot of uh, positive tests uh, from, from that part of the house. Youngblood says all employees are recovered and back to work, although he says one inmate who tested positive at a Kern facility is currently in quarantine. Another major thing on KCSO's plate as of late were the protests that followed the death of George Floyd. Youngblood says the protests have led his office to form an advisory council, which will consist of about 20 local, diverse leaders and organizations. There are people out there that believe that this organization is racist. There are people out there that believe I'm a racist. Uh, it's uh, I don't need to d defend myself, but I want to defend my organization. Youngblood says the advisory council is in the planning stages right now, but will eventually provide a necessary line of communication. Communicating with our, with our community can only make us better. We can empathize with what they feel and what they say, and, and they can do the same with us. So I think we're, we're on a path to doing things better uh, than we were. And one last thing we spoke about with the sheriff was Governor Newsom's order for people to wear masks when they go outdoors. He says that him and his department will not be enforcing that. They say they're going to leave it up to the people to decide whether or not they want to wear a mask out in public. But for now, here in Bakersfield, Austin Westfall, 23ABC, connecting you.